All right. This is a continuation of hex marks the spot. Um, this is the reason I actually went to Garfield today was because I ran out of, not ran out. I emptied a bottle of fly back doing painting over the weekend. Um, sometimes I wish I was 12 again. <laughs> like I said, that steering wheel or whatever you want to call it took me probably a whole week to remove the join lines, seam lines, gaps, and everything else. Mm -hmm. All the figures, same way. Uh, it, it's just, I basically, each one of those two rib cages I had to rebuild or recarve. But like I said, it, it, it's been kind of fun. It has. And I'm going to practice my weathered wood looks on the deck and on the Minson mass or whatever the main mass is called. It's and, kind of fun. We wouldn't keep doing it. Um, and that's just about as far as I've gotten so far. The two Jeeps, you guys have seen this issue 23 before, but because I currently have them in the same box, I didn't feel like taking it out. The only thing I did was I planted a diorama, and I initially wanted to include both of the trucks. And the majority consensus was everyone thought it looked too crowded with the two trucks. So, except for me. Except, no, no, you weren't the only one. Um, and I may still go back to it. I like the cluttered effect. I just don't know what's going to be hidden. But the rocket truck's new. Um, you can see I had the same problem with the blue paint on my truck that I did on the guy's Camaro that I did, but it's a military vehicle, it's going to get a little bit more dusty maybe, and then that's going to be it. The actual rocket kit is from Ming, it's uh, one of two resin aftermarkets. Uh, that one is specifically designed for the Hilux Sport Edition. The four quad rocket launcher that I wanted to put back in that bed is not designed for that bed. It will only go in this one. So there was the, I had to make a change of plans. Uh, all the stowage, and then the, the Hilux kind of stinks because it's their first edition and none of the doors open. So you have to kind of figure where you want to put any stowage inside because once you've got it there, you can't put anything else in it like you could with the Jeep where the two doors opened up and like I was able to shove things up into the windshield after the fact. So keep that in mind if you do build the Hilux version. Um, so that's why there's nothing on the dash because I wasn't sure where it would end up in relation to the glass. <laughs> And that's about it. Oh, <laughs> this originally, sorry, you weren't here. This originally was a series done by NPCs back when I was 12 years old. Oh, okay. They're called, they were called Pirates of the Caribbean. Round two bought, or Lindbergh bought the molds from NPC. Round two jumped in bed with Lindbergh or however it is nowadays, and they're releasing them as the Jolly Roger series. They've released three of them. That one's called Hex Marks the Spot. Uh, this may be the end, and the Pinch and Peril are the three they've released. Um, I want them to release all seven because there's one called Ghost of the Treasure Guard. It's a skeleton guarding a treasure chest, and the guy that looks like Captain Hook is firing his pistol at him. And that was my favorite as a kid. But the original Caribbean series go for about $300 a pop on eBay. And this guy's supposed to pop up? Is yeah, it? that's the intent. I don't think he he's going to pop man. up. Oh, okay. Um, oh. I, I just, I, I've messed with it and messed with it. The arm's loose enough, and I may be missing something in my theory of relativity and how things work, but I, I don't think it's going to work right. So he'll probably end up just being posted with the dagger in the map. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to watch my friend. HPI guy, he built them. They all work. That's fine. Yeah. So, I'm see, a moron. I'm not afraid to. Oh, no, you could you could see his tips on how he put it together. It's put together. I just got to start baiting it now. <laughs>